2021 was quite the year at Calgary International Airport. Though not nearly as busy as pre-2020 levels, traffic has begun to rebound, and there were some notable visitors. So, I thought I'd take today to go over some of the interesting aircraft and special moments at Calgary International Airport in 2021. Starting off in January, WestJet flew a couple test flights with their 737 MAXs ahead of their return to service. These flights were especially exciting to see, since these were mostly in storage during that entire 21-month period. Throughout January, Air Canada also flew quite a few flights with their 737 MAXs for pilot retraining between Vancouver, Calgary, and Edmonton. These were also a welcome sight, since AC had stored nearly all of them in the desert for the duration of the grounding. of the 737 MAXs to service, Air Canada finally retired the last of the mainline Airbus A319s, and the very last one in the country left Calgary for Kansas City on February 8th. March, Calgary got a visit from this Royal Air Force Airbus A400M. The Royal Air Force is normally a common site here for troop training purposes, but owing to current events, they hadn't been here for ages, and so this one visit was pretty noteworthy. Later on in March, Calgary headquartered Air Sprint Private Aviation took delivery of their first ever Embraer Praetor 500, making quite the entrance with this low pass on runway 35 left.
In late March and early April, Calgary got a few visits from some TUI Group 787 Dreamliners, flying some cargo flights between here and Europe. In what had been a pretty dry past 12 months for international visitors, these were very welcome sights. Also in March, Air Canada unveiled their Airbus E220 TransCanada Airlines Retro Livery, which would be replacing the A319 version that had just been retired. This was quite the surprise for spotters nationwide, and stopped in Calgary for the first time in early April. Also in April, KLM sent their largest Dreamliner, the 787-10, to Calgary for the very first time as an aircraft swap on their Amsterdam route. This was also the first visit of the type to YYC. In late May, Flair Airlines' first 737 MAX was delivered here from Boeing Field, one of 13 announced to be joining the fleet back in January. They quickly took delivery of even more as the year progressed, and are now up to 9 MAXs at the end of 2021. June, this Antonov 124 arrived to pick up some oil rigs destined for Oman and drew quite the crowd. In July, CargoJet Airways began operating two 767 freighters on behalf of Prime Air. This was the first visit of Prime Air to Calgary, though not the first visit for these exact airplanes since they were former WestJet 767s. Good evening, uh, caution turbulence from a 767 just landed. Wind is 120 at 8, clear to land, only one second right.
Also in July, French leisure airline French B made a couple of technical stops here on their Paris to Tahiti route. This was reportedly due to some fuel shortages in Vancouver, where they'd normally stop. They made four stops in total and marked Calgary's first visits from an A350 since January 2019. Later on in July, we also had a visit from both an Aleutian IL-76 and an Antonov-124 back to back. Not at all a common sight, and it was great to finally see some more international visitors. In August, this very colorful 737-400 from Nolanar Aviation operated a couple flights for Flair. Also in August, Canadian North's Boeing 737-700s finally started flying, and these former WestJet 737s did some training flights between Edmonton and Calgary around the second week of August. In September, what was probably the most exotic visitor of the year diverted en route from San Francisco to Doha. This Qatar Airways A350-1000 was the first visit of the type to YYC, and diverted here due to a medical emergency on board. 
As far as I know, all was well in the end, and they eventually left for Doha a couple hours delayed. In October, this privileged style 767 came in, carrying 200 refugees from Afghanistan. These passengers were welcomed to Canada in some typically windy southern Alberta weather. In November, what was easily the most unique visitor of the year arrived from Yellowknife, this Buffalo Airways Lockheed L-188 Electra. Due to the flooding that was taking place in British Columbia, Buffalo flew a few flights between Calgary and Vancouver, presumably helping out with the backlog of cargo. Buffalo's Electras usually fly exclusively up north, and so seeing one of them as far south as Calgary was a very rare event. And finally, in December, we had a visit from this Ukraine Air Alliance Antonov-12, stopping briefly to unload some cargo before making a smoky golden hour departure to St. John's. So, that was 2021 at Calgary International Airport. As always, thank you so much for watching, for all of your support, and I hope to keep making many more of these spotting videos and more in 2022. See you next time.